Foster Kennedy syndrome, what you need to know. Now you can already tell from the thumbnail that there's one eye with a swollen nerve and one eye with a pale nerve. And I'm gonna show you the pale nerve to start with. And then we'll have a look at the other eye, which has a swollen nerve. So Foster Kennedy syndrome is actually a rare neuroarthromic condition characterized by a distinctive pattern of optic nerve findings. And it presents with ipsilateral optic atrophy from compression and contralateral papilledema, disc swelling from raised intracranial pressure. And this is typically due to a space occupying lesion affecting the frontal lobe. Now, the most common cause is actually an olfactory groove meningioma though there can be other frontal lobe tumors or maybe even large sphenoid wing meningiomas that can also lead to the syndrome. And the key mechanism is direct compression of the optic nerve on the side of the tumor. And as we said, that causes that ipsilateral optic atrophy, which you can see very, very clearly in this video here. And it's the raised intracranial pressure, which then causes optic disc swelling and papilledema in the opposite eye. And remember, the definition of papilledema is optic disc swelling specific to raised intracranial pressure. Now, in terms of symptoms, patients may present with progressive visual loss in one eye, blurred vision, double vision, headaches, and sometimes loss of smell. An examination shows a pale atrophic optic nerve on the ipsilateral side and a swollen hyperemic disc in the other. So it's also important to know that there is another condition called pseudo Foster Kennedy syndrome. And that's where you can get sequential optic neuritis or sequential ischemic optic neuropathies. And that can mimic the same disc appearance, but without a mass lesion. And this patient had a frontal lobe tumor. So the diagnosis was a true Foster Kennedy syndrome. And this patient was referred to our neurosurgical team. So diagnosis is confirmed with neuroimaging, typically an MRI of the brain, which can reveal an underlying mass. And as we did, management includes neurosurgical referral for tumor resection. And really visual prognosis depends on the duration and extent of optic nerve damage at the time of presentation. So in summary, Foster Kennedy syndrome, okay, is an example of how localized intracranial pathology can manifest with asymmetric optic disc findings. And remember, you're never going to regret neuroimaging. So you can see very clearly this patient's got that disc swelling on the other side. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know, how would you investigate this patient? What do you think of the findings? What other questions might you ask the patient in the history? What other tests do you think you might find useful to objectively assess optic nerve function? Put them in the comments, share the video with your friends, and hope you found this video very educational. I think it's it's a very important case to know about.